Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're excited to bring you the brand new 2023 No Boundaries 20.3 Bunkhouse Travel Trailer. This is a new floor plan for the No Boundaries lineup. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside of the RV, the outside of the RV, close it all up at the end, and we'll also go over some of the new features for 2023. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2023 No Boundaries 20.3 model here. We're gonna spin our way through the RV, kind of show you what it's all about, and then we'll head outside and kind of show you some of the stuff out there too. So we're gonna start with some changes. So for 2023, this is a new floor plan for them. They have different wood color, different countertop colors, different floor color, a little different wall board and ceiling board. So overall, a whole new look for the 2023 lineup. Some more changes on the outside we'll go over when we get out there. But here we have two large bunks. So there is a ladder here to help you get up here, light up here, and USB charger ports both window over there does open same thing down here you have a light usb charger ports on the wall a window that does open the pull across little curtain here now this part's a little bit different because you have the bike door on the back or luggage door whatever you want to call it but this bottom bunk flips upward allowing you to put maybe a bicycle or two in here uh, maybe a small short kayak or something like that, depending on what you want. Although you could also put the racks on the roof if you wanted and kind of do a kayak up there or something. But a little bit different setup there with that bunk. Now back here we have the bathroom area. So kind of starting up top here, you have a large turbo exhaust fan here pull across shower curtain, which is attached up top and bottom to a little rod, ABS tub surround, have the shower miser here as well to help you save on water. On the wall here, you also have your solar charge controller, 30 amp go power solar charge controller, 12 volt heat pads, for your holding tanks if you do some winter camping. Light switch, water pump, water heater on gas button, your monitor panel buttons for your gray, black, fresh water tank and your battery meter. So you have some stuff here as well. Foot flush toilet. A Little bit of counter space in there. Some storage underneath the sink area as well. And then you have a wood medicine cabinet up there also. The bathroom door also has a lock on it. Stepping back here, you do have a little dustpan vac down below. And basically all vinyl floor in here. So they set it up so you could sweep everything into the dustpan vac. The vacuum does not come with hoses. However, you can order the hose off of the vacuum maker's website if that interests you. And then you have another little pantry area over here. Digital thermostat on the wall for your AC and your propane furnace. Slide out is basically the dinette area here. So you push a button that goes in and out, Lippert in-wall slide, all three of the windows in this dining area do open, have screens in them. Now you do have storage underneath of both sides of the dinette, so you can store some stuff under there if you want. And then this will also go down and make into a bed, so you could sleep an extra guest or two there depending on their size. Now another new feature we'll go over at the end of the video is the new tire pressure monitoring system. Really nice feature here by TST. Spinning back around here, 
looking at our kitchen area. So down below we have the electric box with the breakers and fuses, which does auto detect whether it's a lead acid battery or lithium type of battery. Um, just above the breaker box is your propane leak detector. You have the convection microwave, so you can cook or microwave either one. Then you have a three burner stove top with little light up knobs and it has a flip down glass lid if you're not using the stove, it gives you a little more counter space. Refrigerator wise, you have the Norcold 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. Little advertisement sticker there talking about the 2000 watt inverter that comes with it, along with a 200 watt solar panel as well. Up here you have the uh, hood range light and fan along with a little bit of storage. Now there's another little advertisement that you'll see and this is talking about the new Kurt axle system. We'll throw a video up on that when we get outside but a really nice new axle system that they've been in the works with. They were going to do it partway through last year but they decided to wait until the 2023 model change to really get it started and rolling. You have high rise faucet there, large single bowl sink as well. It has a little plastic uh, cover here, but you do have a pretty good size sink there. Window back there does open. Electric outlet on the front here and also on the side. Heat duct blowing out down there as well. You have some storage underneath of that sink area. And then you also have a light switch for the little LED bar light strip and again USB charger ports. Now looking down the roof line here, you can see your Coleman air conditioner. Now this is a ducted air conditioner or you can just slide open the big flaps here and let it blow out one direction or the other. Up front here, you do have a little sofa area for daytime. There is some storage underneath of there as well, so you can stash you some goodies under there. But also that 2000 watt inverter is underneath of there. On the right side over here, you have a little bit of lower cabinet storage down there. A little end table on each side of the sofa. There's electric outlet and USB charger ports on each side of the sofa. On the right side is also the inverter controller over there, and you also have a light switch for the closet lights as well. And then you do have hanging closet on each side, a pretty good amount of space, and shelf space up above there as well. Now over on this side right here, we have little control area. There's USB charger ports here, awning and slide out in and out buttons, awning light button, porch light button and interior light switch. And then there's a little key holder on the side here and a bottle opener as well. Now this has the little flip down queen bed. I wanna show you how this actually works. So we're gonna set the camera down here. Um, so when you are ready to do this, let's tilt down a little bit so you can see this a little better. But basically all you got to do, flip this part down and then there is a latch over here. You pull this latch and it comes right on down. So real simple to do. You don't have to you know, make up your bed and all that type of stuff. You can leave your sheets and stuff on there, leave your pillows back there and it works out pretty well. Now you can see back in behind here, there is little shelf space down below so you can stash some stuff back here you have the big window overlook in the front of the RV as well little roof vent up there we'll set this back down here and flip it back up for you again real simple to do 
latches right in, flips right back up. Window on each side of the bed here also opens. Looking here at the door area, you can see we have a couple little bar stools right here. There's a little LED light switch, or lights under there, which the switch is in front of the sink. Little advertisements thing down there, basically just kind of reminding you again, Asdale Construction on the fiberglass, block foam insulation, uh, aluminum structure as far as your studying and your walls, roof and floor, a whole lot of cool nice improvements and good features for the RV. And then you have a window in the door. That window is thin shade ready by Lippert, so there's an aftermarket shade you can buy for that. Um, when you're outside, it kind of looks like it don't have a window. You've seen that in the little intro thing, uh, but you'll see it again when we get back outside. Over there is your 32 inch Connexus TV. That is a 12 volt TV on a swing arm. So if you are a boondock style camper, you're kind of going off the grid, you could still fire up your TV, check the local news or something, and then head back out on the trail. But overall, a pretty cool new floor plan for the Nobel lineup. Um, we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV, and then we're gonna come back in and close it back up for you. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 No Boundaries 20.3 model here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up, we do have a little bit of graphics change from 2022 model to 2023 model. Not a huge difference, but there is some differences. You have the black glass entry door, which looks like it doesn't have a window in it, but as you've seen when we were inside, it actually does. Again, that's thin shade ready. You have deep tent safety glass windows. Power awning with the LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV. Has adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff purposes. And you also have a manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. You have the Moor Ride Step Above Entry Step here. This is a triple entrance step this year. Comes down, touches the ground, adjustable feet. Last year's No Boundaries models was only a double step. Due to the new Kurt suspension system, we'll go over here shortly, the ground clearance is higher. So they've raised it up a little bit, having to add a triple step instead of a double step. Pass through storage compartment here can see some of that aluminum tube framing and stuff there. Looking down underneath the bottom, you can see one of your four heavy duty scissor jacks, along with that enclosed underbelly going back through there. The fiberglass exterior is attached to the Asdale composite material. Check out the Asdale on board website for more information. But basically what that means to you is the fiberglass is attached to Asdale, which is a composite material, instead of a wood Luon backer. So it is much less likely to have a delamination problem from water leaks. So nice feature to have on the fiberglass attachment. Large folding entry handle there to get you in and out of the RV. Next to that entry handle is going to be your model number, along with some little advertisement stickers there. You have a traditional porch light, which is currently in clear mode, but you can flip the switch the opposite way and have an amber light. Just below that is your stove exhaust, which has a little flapper in there that you need to open when you're ready to use the stove inside. Six gallon gas and electric water heater here. You can see in the picture popping up, you have the inch and a 16th drain plug in the lower middle. You have the electric switch in the lower left corner and then your pressure relief valve in the top center. Relieve the pressure before you try to drain it. Below the water heater is an electric outlet. Then you have your furnace exhaust out area here. You also have a little table here, and we're going to pop up a picture of what the griddle looks like that comes with it as well. So you have a little cook griddle, 
and you have a little table here and also a cold water spray port in case you need some extra water out here. Now looking down below here, you have Goodyear Wrangler tires, nice off-road style tire, aluminum wheels. Look at this suspension. I'm gonna pop up a video here for you, the factory did to kind of go over this a little nicer than me. Check this video out real quick. We are on site with you today. I'm Cody Shade, and we are giving you a field test of the Kurt Beast Mode suspension system featured on the 2023 No Boundaries product lineup. Now this is our fifth season with No Boundaries, offering our consumers a turnkey adventure unparalleled in the lightweight travel trailer segment. The Kurt Beast Mode is going to take No Boundaries to that next performance level that you haven't seen yet. What makes it so special? Well, let's start with five inches of articulation on both the single and tandem axle setups. You've got an axleless design that provides independent suspension going over smooth or rough terrain that both reduces rattles reduces vibration and increases the towability of the product. Now the maintenance schedule on the beast mode suspension system mirrors that of exactly what you have towing down the road today, which is a never adjust braking system along with easy lube hubs. So it's virtually maintenance free. This will not only increase the length of life of the towable unit itself, but it will give you the peace of mind that you need to go farther off the street from street mode to beast mode like you never have before. Now what sets this product apart are the nitrogen filled gas struts along with racing inspired coil spring design. Performance for No Boundaries has been the pinnacle of the product design. And again, we are laser focused on bringing you the most towable, most versatile product on the market. For more information about the Kurt Beast Mode suspension system, check out forestriverinc.com nobo or contact your local No Boundaries dealer. learn more all right pretty cool video there again really nice new kurt suspension system here gave it more ground clearance just a little bit better ride you also have drum brakes easy lube hubs definitely a good improvement for the 2023 model change here they've actually had this in the works for a while but they've been holding off on putting it on until model change um, so that's why you're just now starting to see this for, for you know, them factory basically trying to hold back till we got the model change. Just down below here, you can see underneath of here, you do have a gas line hookup for that griddle. Little storage area here. Now this is underneath of the bunk area. And then right here is also a solar plug in here. So you can get a portable solar panel and plug in here to enhance the solar that's already on the RV. Because you might get a campsite that's under a tree and that solar panel on the roof might not be able to help you out much. So you could do a portable panel, stretch it out, maybe out into the sun somewhere and get you some better solar. So depending on where you are, you know, that might be a good thing to consider. You have the ladder on the back that gets you up onto your roof, 250 pound rating on this ladder. Now you can see up here with the pictures I'm popping up for the roof, you have things up there like solar panel, you have the air conditioner, plumbing stack vents, skylight, all that type of stuff. Now flipping the picture around here, looking from the other direction, um, you do 
you know, kind of see everything up here. You got to remember there's seams and seals and, you know, all that type of stuff here up here on the roof. You got to get up here from time to time and maintain this stuff. Very, very important for the life of your camper. Again, it don't really matter if it's a, you know, $10,000 camper or a million dollar camper. You know, they're going to all have things that you got to maintain on them. So very important to do. The unit is pre-prepped on the rear end up here at the top, that black thing in the top center there, for a Furion observation camera. Nice thing I would recommend adding to the RV. It allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or when you are you know, backing into your campsite and stuff. So good feature to have. Spare tire on the back, still an off-road tire. You can see here, you have your little door here. You can load your you know, bike or small kayak or you know, some of the kids' toys and stuff in here if you need to. Traditional four inch square tube bumper on the rear of the RV. A lot of people like to store their dump hose in there. Now looking down here at the bottom real quick, you can see again that enclosed underbelly hot and cold low point drains, your gray black handle, and everything comes out of one dump. So nice and easy to do, all kind of in one little area right here. The power cord is a 30 amp electric cord. It's probably 25 or 30 feet long, roughly. Next to that detachable power cord is the cable satellite inlet right here. And you have your black tank flush to flood and clean out your toilet tank when you're done camping. Slide out is a Lippert in-wall slide or Schwintech slide it used to be referred to as. It's basically two 12 volt motors that pull it in and out. Lippert has some really nice information on their website about that, lci1.com. Under the front section right here, again, you can see that enclosed underbelly, but also the fresh water tank drain is right here, has a little removable cap for it. Right here is your city water inlet and your gravity fill fresh water tank. The other side of the storage compartment. Now we have some really important informational stickers here. We're gonna pop these up for you here. The first one popping up is your main production data sticker. This tells you the date it rolled off the factory assembly line, tells you, you know, axle size, VIN number, but most importantly on this sticker is the gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed that number. Next sticker popping up is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line and it also has the length on it as well. Next cargo carrying capacity sticker telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross vehicle weight on the first sticker. Again, don't exceed that. Last but not least is the tire sticker here telling you tire pressure, uh, also tire size. Remember this cold tire pressure number because that's what you're going to have to set on that tire pressure monitor system when you get it. So we'll kind of do a little video on that here at the end. You have roughly a three quarter fiberglass front, lower black diamond plate metal, windshield in the front, power tongue jack, LED light built in, manual override has a two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto change over regulator, seven way Bargman wiring plug here. It's got a little holder for it as well. Down here's your little transmitter for your tire pressure monitoring system and your battery disconnect switch. Now it comes with zero batteries from the RV maker when you do the standard RV. If you purchase from Couches RV Nation, they do provide you with one battery in box. Um, they also offer what's called an unplugged package on the no boundaries. It's fairly new being introduced over the last few months. Um, it's basically some lithium batteries, a bigger inverter, 
a better air conditioner that will run more efficiently, allowing you to use it on battery power, a 3000 watt inverter, some different stuff. Talk with your sales guy about it. They'll be glad to go over that with you. It's a nice expensive package though. It's close to 10 grand, I think. Um, but if you are a real off the grid camper, that might interest you. All right, we are gonna head back inside. I wanna close this thing up, show you what it looks like closed, and then we'll hit on the tire pressure monitoring system as well. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back on the inside here, and I wanna show you what this thing looks like closed up. So again, 2023, no boundaries, 20.3 model. And when you're ready to close this thing up, you got to come back over here to the magic slide button right here. So in or out. So we're going to spin back around here and show you how this works. So when you are ready to bring it in, very important to make sure nothing's in the way of the slide. So make sure your floor's clean, none of the kids' toys are in the way. Push the end button here, and it's going to come straight in, and it goes straight out. So if you need to let off the button when you're going out to go make sure you're not about to run into something at the campsite, you can just let off the button, the slide will stop, and then when you're ready to bring it back in or out, just bring her back in. Again, this is 12 volt, two motors, one on each side, pulls it straight in. For more information about the slide system, check out lci1.com's website. They'll give you more info there. But when it's in, it is very close to the kitchen counter here. So you could probably squeeze back through here a little bit. It would be a little easier if the table was in down mode, or obviously if it's a little kid, they could squeeze right on through. That'll get you back to your bathroom area back there if you needed to go to the bathroom while it was closed up. The bed area up here could still go down. So you could actually use the camper with the bed down if you're stopping at a rest area or something like that. But it is snug. It again is fairly close there, but still usable. And then when you are ready to take it out, just hit the button to go back out. It only takes a few seconds to run it out. Again, don't forget to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. And we're gonna check out this tire pressure monitoring system here real quick. So check out this portion of the video. All right, guys, I wanted to take a second here and just kind of show you the basically unboxing and what uh, this tire pressure monitoring system actually does. Um, so this thing here has a lot of great features to it. We're going to open it up here real quick, show you what it's all about. Okay, so I got the box cut open already here, just so we don't accidentally stab ourselves on video or something stupid. So when you get it out, you have a little instructional code here. You got a little scanner here, but basically it's kind of telling you, you, know, you got a monitor little 12 volt uh, lighter adapter thing here with USB charger cord and your suction cup mount holder. Um, a little sticker here that comes with it, little warranty registration card and stuff like that. Here you can kind of see a little mount. It's plastic. It's got a little magnetic holder, but suction cup at your window. Your little cord and then you have your five inch screen here and it's got a little sticker on it I take off the little sticker on the side of it you do have your on off button 
and your little charge button here. Um, so you kind of see what it looks like there. And it magnetically attaches here. But let's turn it on here real quick. So you kind of see what this all looks like. Now I have already programmed the four tires and stuff. Kind of went through this, cheated a little bit here so I knew a little more about it before we started the video. Uh, but you can come in here and you have different setting controls here for it. Um, so we can come in here, change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, change it from uh, PSI to bar. Uh, you got miles, kilometers, hours, you know, 12 hours, 24 hours, feet, meters. You know, again, kind of do what you prefer depending on where you're uh, located at. Coming back in here, we got our tire pressure alert. And this will do up to five trailers, up to six tires per trailer. And this particular camper that we're in, if you remember that sticker, that tire sticker I showed you earlier, it told us 50 PSI cold. Now, when it comes in from the factory and you unbox this, you gotta actually come in here and set that because it's at basically zero. So just come in here, type in your pressure of whatever the sticker tells you on the camper you happen to own. Hit this here, exit and save. Then we can swap tire locations. Again, depending on our trailer, we can kind of come back in and swap locations, do different stuff like that. Um, automatic code detect. Again, go to our trailer one, and then we're gonna step outside here, show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're back out here and we are looking at the tires. And you can kind of see the screen here. We're going to hit our little settings button, auto detect code, trailer one, and then we're gonna pick a tire. I've already got the code in here for this particular one, but to redo it, we're basically gonna hit the learn button. And then you're supposed to wave it in front of the tire. You hear the beep. It'll pull up the code, save and exit. And then you go do your other tires as well. And you can kind of see here different codes for each tire and it will do up to six tires. So for people with toy haulers and stuff like that, you know, triaxle units, pretty cool little setup. Now, when you're done doing all your tires, you can again do a manual mode detect if you know your codes for each tire. Um, you can connect and disconnect trailers and stuff like that. So you got quite a few different things you can come into this screen and do. Vehicle ID, uh, date and time, sensors for your, bat or your battery sensors basically, kind of telling you what's going on with them. Um, so a lot of neat stuff built in to this tire pressure monitor here. Pretty cool little setup. Again, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I hope this really helped you learn a little bit more about the camper, things that come with the campers, and possibly how to use them. Thanks again.